All right. Well, just dropped the card. Um, let's try this again. Yesterday I had to um, and I was doing videos here on YouTube, but unfortunately I ran out of space, so I had to like um, the reading end up stopping like after 20 minutes, and I had to delete a lot of uh. Uh, I had to make some space, right? All right, so less. I want to um, read the cards again, the ones that I had already on the table, okay? So we end up having, this is going to be based on what kind of witchcraft um, karmics are doing against us. Overall energy, which is on top of the car, on the deck, it's stellium. A stellium is a three or more planets uh, within a specific sign or a specific house. Stelliums indicate there are lessons from the south node that have yet to be learned. And the stadium is designed to assist in helping us move into our north node in order to transcend karmic cycles that hinder us. This card indicates that a stadium could be influencing your life more than you realize. As is the sign and the houses to stadium, it is, is in to learn more. Okay. Um... In other words, um, there is uh, certain birth charts uh, in the collective that are being affected um, eh, by having multiple planets. It's like someone did research and they figured that you have different planets um, aspected at a particular um uh, placements in your birth chart therefore they're using that against uh, against the collective okay now and at the bottom of the deck this is the bottom and this is the top I see a lot of readers out there that are saying the opposite right but anyways <laughs> it triggers me the seventh house is at the bottom of the deck okay um so marriage, okay, uh, proposal, it's to be expected in the year 2022, but what I feel that karmics are doing um, is that they're trying to avoid uh, people uh, getting to, into a serious relationship or uh, people are using evil practices uh, against the collective in order to create some type of blockages or for the collective to be uh, to attract a bunch of karmics or a bunch of toxic abusive um, is there people in their lives okay now let's start with the first card okay Deacons, okay? Deacons are sir, subdivision of signs. Each sign has three deacons. Karmic, astrology. Your deacon can, uh, your deacon placements indicates the added planetary influence on the planet in question. It also identifies the constellation and star systems from which you could originate from. Deacons provide deeper insight into the planetary forces that drive the manifestation of planets within our birth chart. So, underneath that, we have the Knight of Disc, right? Which would represent the Knight of Pentacles. And then under underneath that, we have the Eight of Swords, okay? Kills, okay? Eight of Swords, okay? Kills by drowning and can sink ships, controls the seas, and the winds will spare any life, any request, okay? And then underneath that, we have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So there is interference, definitely, okay? There is definitely interference, and um, someone is like, if, like, 
let me show you. And here we could see that someone is using like enchantment uh, rituals, right? Chanting to either deities or um, they're using semi or demigods, right? Or dark goddesses, right? For evil purposes, okay? Conjuring or invoking evil uh, entities, okay? And then there's sending it against um, the collective, right? Um, and it's a third party. It's someone that your love interest, okay? Or your partner or whoever you're interested in, right? Um, or your ex, whatever. Is that it's someone that they're fucking with, all right? Someone that they're messing around with, all right? Someone that is like a mistress, okay? A playboy, a fuck girl, right? Um, and they are using evil, uh, evil entities, okay? Um, so someone could drown or some, or for someone to like, you know, is that end up losing their lives, uh, in a, wa a, a water body, okay? Now, let's see, let's go to the second, uh, card, it's Leo, okay? We have Leo, Aries, we have the 8th house, Deacons, Stadium, and we have the 7th house, okay? We do have 88, okay, master number 88, 1988, could be the year uh, of birth of this, um, is the, um, karmic, okay, we have the 8th house, so that's, 888 okay um this is a person that has mental mental issues okay psychological and also um mental disorders okay um this person okay craves attention and when this person doesn't get the attention that it, that it craves it causes chaos it it, it it this person like rages okay uh it, it it gets infuriated okay it fury is the the word okay it doesn't get mad it gets it's extreme it's over okay it's over getting upset okay they go to the extreme okay now it says king of the zodiac leo rules over the fifth house of creativity and recreation known for their big hearts and generous nature leo the lion represents royalty honor courage and leadership leo rules over the heart and the spine the karmic aspect of leo energy includes vanity hypersexuality and arrogance this card can indicate your self-expression is out of balance and causing either a lack of empowerment or over inflated sense of self so someone like this karmic is a type of karmic that is extremely sexual, okay? So this person takes a lot of risk. This type of person fucks anything and anyone, okay? Um, I feel like this type of karmic uh, also does bestiality, which means that it has intercourse with uh, animals, okay? Um, I feel like this karmic doesn't, like, it just doesn't have any type of dignity, right? Um, they go overboard so meaning like if the if 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 there's a minor or if, if it gets easily tempted okay to have sex with anyone and it doesn't matter age it doesn't matter what ethnicity um they represent or what culture they're from um this person will just do the most right sexually okay but what i feel like this karmic is also doing is like remember i mentioned this karmic is a, like it's doing spells and magic and shit like that to cause the collected to attract people that are abusive right people that are in their lower self people that just focuses on their dark energy on their dark um lower vibrations right on um, people that are not awakened right people that are just like they tend to always focus on the negativity um they're bound to always be 
eh, indulging and, and like you know is the sex drugs um crime activities um people that don't really respect their their self their health and others right but i feel like this person also wants to create uh, chaos this person is a, is uh, likes to compete okay it has like a god syndrome type of tendency right uh feels like they could take uh control over the uh collective and just manipulate their destiny and their lives and they want to do like a switch right which means like they want to be able to like steal all uh, the collective's blessings and then they want to dump their negative karma on people right uh, so uh, basically it's an energetic vampire this person could be uh, some type of like a, a, a stripper an exotic dancer erotic type of uh, uh, porn she might uh, she probably has this person probably has like a fan page and shit like that like a secret fan page or something not that secret because I feel like this person uses social media in order to be able to get uh, customers okay but I also feel like it, uh, this person it's a female this female works in some type of strip club some type of bar um, yeah okay and it, it, mess, it likes messing around with people that are committed or that are already in a serious relationship like she likes to steal uh, married men or, or like she likes to break the uh, break bones okay she likes to tear families apart okay and with the eight of swords and with the eight of pentacles this person works hard to cause chaos works hard to like interfere in relationships okay and i feel because of that there's gonna be some type of like uh i mentioned yesterday right but the video got deleted or something i don't know it disappeared but i did mention that um someone will be incarcerated okay um i feel like there's hacking uh stealing identity okay identity theft okay um Okay, so with the Eight of Pentacles, turns water into wine and back again, turns blood into wine, turns any metal into legal tender coins, makes food wise. So I feel like this person, this karmic, is in a partnership where um, and both parties like to get involved with other people that are in relationships and they like to steal from them okay they like to create some type of uh, a situation where they get involved with people that are already in relationships but they try to uh start some type of uh a third party uh situation where they make it seem like they want to be part of that but like part of a relationship with that person once that person leaves their actual partner or whatever this person this people they take as much as possible okay they take their they gain access and um trust over their victims it's like some type of scam or a con this really resonates with me they um you know they use magic and shit like that to appear right they are illusionists right they like to appear as someone that is trustworthy someone that that uses their power and their abilities for positive purposes right but in reality they use their magic and whatever for negative purposes for evil purposes okay uh, these people have like um given their souls to the devil actually and they're involved in sex cults they're involved in satanic evil worshiping type of societies and shit all right ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so this type of people they like to attack divine couples okay they like to attack divine masculines and divine feminists 
their mission is to separate them, all right, and to cause, um, it's like they want to have sex with uh, divine females and divine masculines to steal as much of their energy or to steal as much of their DNA or or to share um, is that their negative entities uh, dump it in inside the divine masculine and divine feminines in order for them to be able to to use their magic for evil purposes because they their evil magic cannot work all right it has no power unless they use um divine bloodlines right um people that are holy right people that are uh, connected to the divine we are powerful actually right so they need our energy right that's why a narcissist they need the supply from a light energy, which is ourselves, right? That's what we carry, right? We're the only ones that are able to charge the universe, right? With our energy, with our light, right? Negative uh, people or evil people, karmics and, and low vibrational people, they only have the negative energy. We have both. We have the light energy and the dark energy, okay? So therefore, we are complete by ourselves, right? We have, our energy comes from source, directly from the divine, right? So we keep uh, elevating and we keep transcending, we keep ascending, right? So our, our, we keep raising our, our vibrations and that's what makes us powerful, okay? And so they need to steal it from us. That's why it's very important as a divine masculine, divine feminine, you need to stay away from karmics. You need to stay away from low vibrational people. Anybody that you know that are abusive or they're involved in crimes or involved in evil worshiping, they're not going to change. It takes a lot for a person to want to change. And you could if you want to, even if you've given your soul to the devil. If you want to be rescued from hell, then you could. You have to re... It's going to be a mission, but you could be rescued from hell. You could be rescued from the devil, right? You could recuperate your, your soul, okay? Um, and that happened to me, okay? My soul was taken from the devil at one point, and... and, and it, it, I didn't know that I was involved with uh, people that were, that, with exes that were, uh, you know, worshiping the devil um, without my knowledge, right? Until I started noticing how I kept on getting attacked from demonic forces and I learned how to uh, do exorcisms and how to fight them successfully right even though as a child i was already doing exorcisms but you know that was when i had uh as a child was um there was a period of time where i was christian right um but um again you know let's go to the eighth house the house of death and rebirth power and domination as well as sex the eighth house is one of the most mysterious and intense eighth house sinistry can indicate power games that could drive onto the on uh, can drive one to violent tendencies in order to control another eighth house placements can also indicate peculiarities around sexual attraction ruling over sexual organs the eighth house can also indicate financial activities tied to other uh, to our sexual and uh, sexuality so we have aries we have leo we have uh, cancer with the chariot we have the six of wands which is uh, leo Aries and Sagittarius with the four of wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, once again. Knight of Disc could uh, represent um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, okay? Um, so someone is, you know, paying for sex, right? Someone like likes uh, fucking around with prostitutes, okay? It could be a male prost a prostitute that is having sex with uh, with guys, all right, that is gay, undercover gay, okay? It it's bisexual and shit, 
right uh, likes to have third party so it's like um, him and his karmic they know about each other's bisexuality all right um but whoever they fuck around with or whoever their victims are whoever they're like trying to scam and con into a relationship or situationship they don't know that these people are secretly lesbian or secretly uh gay right um and they're just fucking with them because they want to steal their assets they want to take control over their home their environment and gain as much uh trust as possible in order for them to be able to like uh get into a serious commitment either a marriage or whatever um a will uh, inheritance insurance or whatever and then steal as much as possible before they even kill the person their victim okay this is serious so they're sending like uh they're using the book of monsters they're using on um, demonology they're using manipulations to control um the weather okay with the page of swords they're stalking their victims okay they're hacking them all right um they have serpent like they they're uh they have like that uh the serpent uh reptilian um draconian uh, uh dna in them okay they have a uh, ancestry of low vibrational witches low vibrational i mean they have their karma and their dna is cursed okay it's been cursed um over and over again um their descendants their um is that um ancestors their family bloodline is cursed because they can continue a failing test right they continue resurrecting and doing the same bullshit like over and over just like being evil so they're gonna be eliminated they're gonna be eliminated okay completely eliminated okay gives answers of the past present and future reconciles friends and foes yeah they they uh, appear, these karmics appear to be friends, right? They appear to be talented in music and dancing and like in, in this, that they're, they, uh, they are very attractive and alluring, but their mission is just to lower your vibrations and just like take your soul, right? Take over your, your, um, your life as much possible and to so you could be possessed by demons and shit okay so that's why this type of people are going to be eliminated from the face of the earth right because they're involved in so much control and manipulation over uh our society our world that is just affecting people worldwide okay so endings being new beginnings growth change liberation and transition yes um there's definitely going to be a lot of changes we are going, we're going to be witnessing a lot of people passing away some people that are famous and that we are gonna feel so um and we're gonna feel bad you know that certain artists or certain actors or actresses certain singers uh certain people in the public eye that we always consider a positive role model we're gonna get to know and that they've been involved unfortunately in uh in different groups that were evil and they didn't know any better right so the first sign of the zodiac aries rules over the the head and blood vessels aries energy represents action decisiveness and rulership Ruled by Mars, the planet of war, Aries is prone to violent tendencies. The karmic aspect of Aries energy represents addiction over impulsive behavior and obsession with domination. Aries rules the first house, which represents our physicality. This card indicates a need to balance our out the Aryan energy in your life. So <clears throat> we're going to notice how certain people are you know they want they see us the collective as like people that are not important right and we're not part of their beliefs of their perspectives of their group okay we're considered like we shouldn't exist so they want to make us ill sick 
they want to kill us they want to torture us they want to use uh, users and abusers as much as possible right they want to take our resources and they want to control the way we think the way we see things the way we eat everything okay we're being manipulated all right they want to use us as sex slaves okay they want to um um they want that's why it's important for us to become celibate if you're single right and if you are in a relationship make sure that you are being loyal and that you're in a marriage because other than that you are only cursing yourself and you're welcoming demons okay because that's what they're sharing with you is evil entities okay incubus and succubus Knight of Pentacles, once again, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of This is the same thing. Okay. Teaches the virtues of herbs and stones, makes birds appear and behave as you, as though they're tame. Okay, so some people, okay, even with the, the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And... People, uh, evil cults, evil societies, or e evil religions. We're going to get to experience and witness how a lot of uh, religions are involved in, um, in evil worshiping. And, uh, and we're thinking, we're going to open our eyes thinking, like, knowing what the truth is, right? You know? And so... The best thing we could do is reclaim our power, purify our power, purify our mind, body, and soul every day, as many times as possible during the day, during the afternoon, and during the nighttime, all right? Uh, in my case, I do it more than that, right? Um, so, because everybody has the ability to have psychic powers, um... But if you are in low vibrations, if you're involved in evil worshiping, you are powerless. That's just the truth, right? And so this is of a spiritual warfare and that doesn't need to be happening, okay? Um, but I feel like um I feel like it's that it's necessary uh, for God's kingdom to eliminate all those evil people from every dimension and every um, every motherfucking realm, every system, solar, lunar, and star systems out there, right? Um, because there's evil in every living creature, in every living thing, okay? We have both the, the good and the bad. We have the dark and the light, all right? It's up to us to balance both of those energies up, right? And our dark side is only to be used for protecting ourselves, protecting our, our families, protecting our friends, right? Protecting each other, right? Including ourselves, okay? Um, protecting the gods and goddesses, right? Um, is that that's what our gifts, our dark energy should be used for, right? Our anger should be used for transmuting it in a positive sense. Is like using that anger, that fury, that embarrassment as an inspiration or motivation for us to... Uh, to reach goals and to push us further to you know is that just do the the best that we can out of life right is that let me see from my index cards well it's about to end but let me pick one card multiple gunshot wounds okay so um i feel like some of this um is the what's it called uh, some of these karmics are going to end up dying either they're gonna get stabbed to death they're gonna be cut into pieces they're gonna be sacrificed okay they're gonna be they have uh, they're gonna suffer severe consequences but they're gonna get to their death is not going to be pleasant at all I feel like there's gonna be a lot of torture involved and uh, I feel like this membermint okay 
pieces of body parts everywhere. Yeah, unfortunately.